I am not a Blood Angels player, and from the releases I have seen, I'm not keen to start. But there is beauty in the Vampiric. The Sanguinor is great. Same pose as before, upscaled and not in resin. The wings are big and bold. Celestine is better, but she would be proud of the look. Probably. When the Sanguinor came out, it was at a time when the Blood Angels were taking the lore and the weapons from the sisters who were not getting much love from Games Workshop. The Blood Angels suddenly got Inferno Pistols and Hand Flamers. Unlike other Marines, they had Heavy Flamers, and they were ours. And then suddenly a mysterious angelic figure that turns up in the hour of need. It wasn't the Legion of the Damned. It was Celestine, the Space Marine. But I still like the Sanguinor model. I always have. And this is a model that's flying without tripping over rocks. I didn't expect Games Workshop to redesign the Sanguinary Guard. I thought that when Games Workshop said, oh yes, we've had our black Space Marines, but now there's going to be red and gold Space Marines to come. I just thought it was either going to be in the Codex, or maybe they would make a bigger Sanguinor. We got that. But the Sanguinary Guard have really thrown me off. When we look at these three models that make up the Sanguinary Guard, I get the feeling that they just don't fit the Blood Angels, that they lack a certain distinction as Blood Angel models. They feel more like Age of Sigma Stormcast models. In fact, these are Age of Sigma Stormcast Eternal models from the Skaven Tide box. But the Sanguinary Guard look a lot like that. Plain gold armor, wielding spears. I think you could just use the cheaper second and Skaven Tide Prosecutor models as Sanguinary Guard. The Sanguinary Guard models are different. Where are the wings? Well, there are tiny wings on the back of them, but the wings were a nice and distinctly Blood Angels trait as showing off their descendant from Sanguinius. These models don't look too different from the Assault Intercessors. They're like Assault Intercessors, but with power swords instead of chain swords and alternative helmets. Except for like the Intercessor Sergeant, he has the power sword, and could, with a helmet swap, look exactly the same. The Sanguinary Guard are different, but not that different. They're not different enough for a paint job to be able to represent them. When your Jump Intercessors are a unit of Blood Angels in their red armor, are a different unit when painted black with a different profile, why not have them as a third unit by painting them gold? I would recommend that if the Jump Intercessors were not very expensive for five models. And where are the sculpted nipples? I'm not saying I need to see the nipples. I was okay with Batman no longer having the bat nipples after the Batman and Robin film. But it was cold, he was fighting Mr. Freeze, it made sense. But the idea was the same, that the Blood Angels harked back to the Roman and the Greek chest armor with the sculpted muscles and the nipples. It's just another thing that they're lacking. Although if they had lost the wings but kept the nipples, I would be joking about the priorities of the sculptors. Both would have been nice. There is now a bigger problem for continuing Blood Angels players. The Sanguinary Guard come in a unit of three. They're sold as a box of three, their unit stats will be the three of them are the unit. Similar to say, Space Marine Blade Guard. Previously, they were a unit of five. Death Watch players like myself are scrabbling through our models to make them fit into a new unit grouping so that we can keep playing with them. I'm figuring out what we do with the one bike we have and the two spare Terminators. That is, if you are continuing with Death Watch. Sorry, I accept tips only in the form of money, not unwanted Death Watch models. So the Blood Angel players are in a similar situation. It isn't just happening to Death Watch players. If you had the Sanguinary Guard before, as a unit of five, what do you now do with the two extra models? Do you make one of them into a captain? The new sergeant looks to be a fine stand-in for Dante. He has a sword instead of an axe, but it works. You could use one of them as the Sanguinor, although that would be denying yourself that lovely model. It would be cheaper though, definitely cheaper. And then there is the same thing that Death Watch players have faced for a second time this edition, from the start of the edition, and then the Codex coming out from Imperial Agents, weapon loadouts. Death Watch players are figuring out what to do with their long vigil ranged weapons. They are not a thing anymore in the Death Watch veterans. For the Blood Angels players, the older Sanguinary box had options for a power fist. 
and in their rules, any number of models could have a plasma pistol or a wrist mounted inferno pistol. Now it looks very much like the box lock will clamp down and only one inferno pistol will be allowed and it isn't even wrist mounted. So that's something to figure out for the Blood Angels players rather than something to be excited for. Unless you didn't have a sanguinary guard, unless you want the new models regardless. Either way, then you may be happy. I'm not a Blood Angels player, I'm just a 40k enjoyer looking at more 40k models and rules from Games Workshop, so the opinion of Blood Angels players in the comments will outweigh mine. However you figure it out, I hope you all have a great day of 40k.